an exciting day for you. Yes, it is. As it was for 16 others. I'm going to try them on, okay? Struggling with a hearing impairment. Is it good? Yes. To me, it's the best Christmas present I've had all my life. Receiving the gift of hearing. Perfect. Perfect. This Christmas. It's like a new beginning. A lot of folks didn't believe that it was true. They thought it was some catch. But there's no catch to hearing for the holidays. In 10 years, staff at the Centers for Hearing Care has gifted over 700 hearing aids to patients who can't afford them, fitting them, supporting them. And that is why we love our job. Teaching them the ins and outs of this new way of living. So okay, just remember, you take your time we want to help those that are truly in need. For some, they haven't had decent hearing for a long time. So have you had a hearing loss for quite a while? Yeah, I've had it basically all my life. Which is why Roderick Dixon, unable to relay his bold personality through conversation, has opted to do so through a bold style all his life. But now he's finally ready to talk to everybody. <laughs> And have everybody talk to me. When you lose your hearing, you become isolated. I'm not even really aware that they're there. Good. As for John Oswald, after 64 years with perfect hearing, one July 2020 day, he woke up to a concerning hearing problem. And then the pandemic came right after that, which further isolated me. I felt like I was living in a vacuum for the last couple of years. Though after a few minor adjustments, Okay, that's, that's better. Time to get back out and rejoin the human race. Just in time for the holidays. Makes it just a little bit extra special. With more local news, I'm Connor Steffen.